Mexico. So this man charges up a Gallic gun and just yells at her. Enjoy retirement! <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the round table and our first trial of 2024. And with this being the first trial of the year, we might as well start it off with a absolute f***ing legend. So let's go ahead and get this started. Coming in around 5'8", when about 150 pounds of pure violence, ignorance, and destruction, he is the wielder of the Forbidden Bay, El Drago, and made us realize that Beyblade was that serious. One of the greatest menaces to ever do it, Ryuga. Well, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally, and he will be ranked in our new leaderboard system in our 2024 update. Yes, I know your eyes do not deceive you. The round table now has patch notes. So without further ado, exhibit A. Lightning El Drago, the forbidden bay that feeds off of pure negativity, such as fear, hatred, <laughs> anger, and greed. Now, some of you are probably wondering, <laughs> well, CJ, how significant can this spinning top be? Well, what if I told you that the Roman Empire was built off the back of this bitch? Okay. Oh, oh, and I'm not done. This has destroyed civilizations. You see, the show doesn't tell you this, but if you really think about it, the prominent leaders that have probably used this bay in the past include Julius Caesar, Genghis Kong, Cleopatra, nigga, Napoleon probably used this bitch. And then here's some of y'all probably go, well, CJ, no way these world leaders could have been in this universe. Okay, why is Moses here? The Lord of hosts will do battle for us. Checkmate, nigga. This bay was so demonic, they had to lock it away in the sacred bay village so nobody could ever touch it again. Until the Dragon Emperor pulled up and stole it. And right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, we're already getting into Ryuga's first charges. Damn. Breaking and entering and grand larceny. This man pulled up on some Indiana Jones type shit and decided to steal a national treasure with the power of a nuclear warhead. And look at him, he like, it's talking to me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I want to be the goat. <laughs> So for Ryuga's first fight, he ends up fighting Jenga's dad. And well, <laughs> you can't even call this a fight. Blow the boob in under a minute tops. Knock the f out and posterized right in front of his child. Then look at his disrespect. After he knocks him out, he rips off his bandana and just starts cleaning his bay and just throws it down at him and just starts <laughs> laughing at him. I should give this man a bonus point just off of that. Straight vile behavior. And they just left this man to die in this boiling hot volcano crater. This is supposed to be a whole kid show and Jenka thought his dad was dead. So a couple months pass and Ryuga's been healing in the healing chamber because El Drago then gave this man a mean Zenkai boost. And Jenka then came to come get his get back. So Ryuga sensed this man's presence and said, ah, it smells like bitch in here. And I kid you not, this man blew up the entire building just to make his entrance. Bro made sure to get to the highest point just to make sure he asserted his dominance over Jenga. Then Ryuga just started talking immense amounts of shit. He was telling him, hey, Jenga got it. Did I just kill your daddy like a month ago? Wow, man. Uh... Oh, come on. That was uncalled for. But after Ryuga talked shit for a good five minutes, they end up having the whole base stadium come up out the water so they can battle. But here's what actually makes this fight just wild. So at this point in the series, Jenga has pretty much washed everybody. This man's like a good 15 and 0 right now, straight undefeated. So Ryuga basically had to show him who was the fraud and who was the goat. <laughs> This nigga Jenga got absolutely annihilated. I'm talking like straight embarrassed. Bro was getting knocked back multiple times. It got so bad, this man Doji just started glazing Ryuga the whole fight. Oh, yes, Master Ryuga. Look at how so elegant and so graciously El Drago spins to the left. 
Oh, so splendid. Reverse rotation just takes my breath away. Oh my God, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying you no. literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. And this fight just kept getting worse. Look at him. Juggling his shit. Cracking the nigga shit. Had this man Jinga on his knees looking like he about to pray for forgiveness. And while Jinga's on his knees, Ryuga basically told him, wow, man, <laughs> you are ass. You might be more ass than your daddy. No wonder your mama left y'all. What did you say, nigga? You should kill yourself, though. Nah. Oh, this man, Jenga, got mad as hell, bro. Got a whole rage boost. But this is where Jenga shot himself in the foot. Because the angrier you get, the more power El Drago gets. Because El Drago's just going to absorb it. And you see, this makes a perfect duo. Because Ryuga is a troll. So the more he pisses you off, the more power he gains. So this fight was basically wrapped up. Bro shoots a Gallic gun in the air. And Kyle drives this man's bay into the ground. And it was all over. Pegasus cooked. Jenga cooked. Madoka about to make a bag because she knows she's got to repair this man's bay. And ladies and gentlemen, this was just the start of the destruction. Because I'll be honest with you, that was just a prologue for this video. Now we are at Exhibit A, the greatest tournament run of all time. Ryuga's Battle Bladers run was something special, I'll tell you that. But before the tournament even started, look at his training regimen. This man has a total of 40 niggas surrounding him. And they have all been trained to master their bay type. So these these are not your run-of-the-mill scrubs. These niggas are elite. So all 40 of them shoot at him. And this man shreds every single one of their base. And after he shredded them, he wasn't even finished. Bro said, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. And sent every single one of them into the vortex. And just like that, this man just racked up 40 bodies. Now, I know some of y'all gonna be like, <laughs> come on, CJ, they're not dead, nigga. Be for real. No human being is surviving that. I don't give a shit if you're Prime Tyson or fucking Houdini. You're dead. This man's foot is gone. That nigga is amputated. So yeah, argue with a wall. Kill count up to 40. So now it was time for the qualifiers. And you need a total of 50,000 bay points to make it to the tournament. So how did Ryuga rack up all these points? Simple. Go on the tear of a century. This man goes to a battle royal with 99 opponents. He pulls up in his chopper, doesn't even get out. And obviously everybody is shook. They don't want to fight the GOAT. So they all decide to team up on him. This man shoots from the chopper and shreds everybody. This nigga moved the whole lobby. This man soloed the whole lobby. This man is a GOAT. This man deserves all the glaze, all the dick riding. It don't matter. This man's run was so legendary. It was on ESPN more than Taylor Swift. This is... Sports Center. Breaking news. This just in. Ryuga is going on an absolute tear right now. After recently defeating 99 bladers at once and just moments ago blowing up the entire stadium, we now have to ask the question, is Ryuga the GOAT? Joining me now is not Skip Bayless and not Shannon Sharp. Uh, Skip, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now. This man is a GOAT. Oh, Lord, here we go. No, 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 Skip, listen to me. I'm telling you, he's better than Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, Brady, Mahomes, Tyson, oh, Ali, oh, oh, Messi. Shannon, stop Look, it, oh. stop it. He's not that good. I mean, come on, he's using a forbidden bay. Uh, and you see, Skip, this is why I can't fucking stand your ass. Because your ass be hating 24 fucking 7. Y'all, I'm not even lying to y'all. It got to the point where this man was winning at least two tournaments a day. I mean, look at this. These two dudes right here are in the semifinals waiting to face Ryuga. Instead of letting them fight to see who was going to face them, this man came out and said, you know what? That's a waste of time. I might as well fight both of y'all niggas at the same time. And y'all can already guess how this went. Rutero. Ah! Boom. Random nigga with the afro and the scouter on. Boom. Ah! They stood no chance. Then he walks up to him at the end of the tournament and tells him, what do you want? Yeah, man, we already lost, bro. Back off. Yeah, y'all are premium trash. Garbage. Straight fucking elephant testicles. <laughs> so I would like you to join my crew. What the fuck? So now it was finally time for Battle Bladers. And this is how you could tell how locked in Ryuga was. They are having the opening ceremony with everybody out here. This man is nowhere to be seen because he is in the locker room, just sitting in the dark fighting demons. You can tell exactly what he's thinking in his head. Oh yeah, I can't wait to cut these motherfuckers. Oh yeah. 
So in the first round, Ryuga has to face Hikaru. And well, <laughs> yeah. in all honesty, this is probably the worst violation in the entire series. So Hikaru's walking out all confident and everything. She really thinking she about to do something. But her confidence was about to sink to the bottom of the ocean. So here come the announcer glazing. In her opponent, the goat, Ryuga! <laughs> Sound of King Cool, Ryuga. Yeah, fuck that bitch up. I got the whole house on you, my glorious king. And look at this man walking out. Straight aura. This girl was shaking in her boots. Nigga, she was scared to even pull out the bay. But Ryuga did not care. Bro said, come on, bitch, time to dance. So they start in five seconds to the fight. He already cooking her. So then he ends up telling her, for having the balls to fight me, I'm going to send you on an all expenses paid trip to Cancun. So this man charges up a Gallic gun and just yells at her. Enjoy retirement, bitch! Yeah, uh, we got some stuff to discuss. She so did. let's analyze this situation real quick. This man just blew a hole in the stadium, put this bitch in a coma, and that uh enjoy retirement line? I wasn't joking. After this fight, Hikaru never picked up a Beyblade ever again. She retired. And what makes this 10 times worse, she made a promise to her sick mother that she would become the best blader in the world. So this man did not just crush her. He crushed her dreams, her spirit, and overall just her mental state. This is easily double points. Next up on the chopping block was Subasa. Now, Subasa's already had a run-in with Ryuga before, so he created a game plan, and that was to run away like a bitch the entire fight. It got so bad, niggas was booing his ass. You fucking stink! To my pussy, grow some balls! My poor lady! But Subasa's plan was to bait Ryuga to use his special move, and to give this man some credit, he was technically the first person to ever stop this move. It was a miracle. But then Ryuga looked at this man and said, Wow, impressive. Let's well, see if he could do that again. Huh? So Ryuga charged up another one, then started to drain his soul to make sure bro did not get up a second time, then just pile drive this bait. This man Subasa was cuffed. <laughs> Oh, and not to mention, the man destroyed the stadium once again! <laughs> so that's another case of putting a nigga in a coma with property damage on the side. So next up was the Battle of the Dogs. Because this man, Kiyoya, was one of the only people to ever give this man a fight. But before the fight even happens, look how Ryuga asserts his dominance. This man blows up the stadium once again just because he felt like it. And also, since he blew up the stadium, this fight is a death match now. Because since the stadium's gone, there's no ring house. So they start fighting, and Kiyoya's actually holding his own, which is a rarity when it comes to fighting this nigga. But over time, Ryuga just started pressuring this man. Bro started to get Slung. Like, look how bro hit that wall. Like, this man's spine has to be fucked. He probably gave him scoliosis after that hit. But Kiyoya was going blow for blow with bro. Well, they were setting off literal mortar strikes in a public domain. Like, I'm on all honesty surprised that most of these pedestrians at these damn tournament arcs do not die. Like, how have one of these niggas not caught a stray? And look at Kiyoya just getting blown the fuck up while they just cheering in the background like, yeah! Like, if you really think about it, these motherfuckers are sick. They are here watching, like, 12-year-old kids have a death match. So they both end up going in for their final attack and set off a nuke. But Ryuga ends up getting taken over by El Drago. And El Drago told that man, My time is over, little nigga. So this man charges up an egregious attack that made everybody evacuate the stadium again. And Kiyoya... <laughs> <laughs> This brother got annihilated. Bro straight up got impaled on a kid show. And bro just staring at him like, Yeah, <laughs> weak ass niggas. Another nigga, another coma. So obviously, Kiyoya's biggest glazer, Ben K, got mad as hell. Bro was like, ah, How dare you touch my glorious king, Kiyoya? So he tries to attack him, but Ryuka jumps up and tells him, Get out, Porky the Pig! And Ben K gets boomed! And this is the second time he didn't got boomed. He got boomed in the Battle Royale. And just like that, this man made the finals and put all his opponents in comatosis. Oh, but <laughs> we can't forget what he did to the other opponents after their fights. Any person that was associated with the Dark Nebula in this tournament, yeah, Ryugo boomed their ass after 
after they lost. This boy just got a triple kill. Look at these two niggas on the ground over here. They already done got fucked up. It was probably so brutal, they ain't even decide to show it. And bro wasn't even done. After this, he takes out the Afro nigga again. And also the crab nigga. Bro just brutally assaulted seven dudes in the amount of 30 seconds. So they could basically become food for El Drago. Oh, but you thought he was done? No, no, no. He ended up catching this man Doji lacking. Bro is beat up in everything. So Doji out here trying to save his ass like, Ah, oh, Master Ryuga, my glorious king. Just so you know, I didn't get beat up by anybody. But this man Ryuga did not care. Bro said, nigga, you weak as shit. So go ahead and make yourself useful and give up that ass. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. So Ryuga starts murdering his closest ally and just straight up takes his soul. This man, Doji, uh, let's be real, y'all. This man got his booty devoured. Jeez. The fact that he dodged death right here is astonishing. So now it was finally time for the finals. The greatest of all time versus the main character. Surely the goat would get robbed by plot, yeah. right? Give me the money. So them boys let it rip, and Ryuga's already coming in with the pressure. He's damn near pushing this man Jingo off the damn stage, and he's just eating every single special move he's getting thrown at him. Look at him, he uppercutted the shit out of his mate and just slammed it into the ground, and he's just drilling it. So this fight already looks wrapped up. Ryuga already got a 3-1 lead and is beating this man's ass. The finals trophy is his, but of course, the refs, I mean the writers, come in to save the day. Because here comes the power of friendship, because all this man's friends are here on top of this building. The script is trying to rob this nigga. So obviously, Jenga gets an amp and is somehow pushing this man back. This is some bullshit. I refuse to believe that this nigga is about to get 28 3 So Ryuga's like, oh, hell no, nah, my legacy's on the line. So my man charges up his Gallic gun, and he goes ahead and shoots it at him. But this man Jenga's pushing it back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing a robbery. So then El Drago takes over Ryuga. And bro was not pleased. Bro said, oh, hell no, nah, nigga. Our legacy's on the line, and you pulling this bullshit? No, nah, fuck that. So Jenga just started getting fresh. El Drago was whooping that ass. Bro had to save the legacy. Bro was pulling out every single move in the move list. Jenga was damn near close to getting packed. But then again, here comes a script writer saving the day. Because Hikaru, Sabasa, and Kiyoya come to save this nigga. Like, bro, what the fuck is a ref? Can we get a tech? Like, bay interference or something? So they basically make this man's bay a spirit bomb, and the fight ends up going to the stratosphere, and El Drago gets slammed, and Ryuga takes the first loss of his career. <sighs> Tough times, man. It sucks when you see your goat lose, bro. Hey, but get this, though. Ryuga may have lost, but Storm Pegasus had to retire. Blood said the lights were too bright. I can't do this no more. And Ryuga? That man picked up El Drago and said, I ain't gonna let these script writers hold me ever again. Bro said, fuck going to Cancun. We going back to the lab. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Exhibit A. Yeah, uh, we're not done yet. Not even close, actually. And already with a whopping score of 161. That was just the beginning of this man's legendary career. So, when will part two drop? You know what? To hell with it, bro. We'll do it just like we did with Shibuya Charles. Like the video, I'll drop this hoe next week. And until then, I bid you fair.